tally. 370 is the figure that Modi yeah, matches. Mr. Modi is given 370. I don't want to get into numbers. I believe that the BJP, as of today, is poised to get its highest ever tally in a Lok Sabha election. That's about all I'm willing to say. No, but, but I'm amazed and amused by the drumbeat that we have. But it's it, almost that you've decided in democracy. Why call it a democratic newsroom? We should call it a single it is, party newsroom. It is absolutely ridiculous for Ajdeep to blame television news channels for this drumbeat. It's been on social media. Ajdeep and I, no, I do. together I do. were at a lunch hosted by a Congress leader this morning. This mm. is an annual lunch. Every single Congress leader I spoke to is discussing the inevitability of the BJP's sure. victory and the fact that they're reconciled to defeat. Their family members are cursing the uh, Congress leadership and are totally non-optimistic about their fortunes. And Rajdeep, you are blaming television news channels. No, that I'm is an absurd argument. Look at how the opposition itself. No, once again, Rajdeep. I'm making, a, no, no, I'm making a distinction between what the inevitability of the outcome seems to be politically and the drumbeat across television no, channels. Not, we are no, media persons. Again. We are not political no, parties. No, once again, you know, there's a difference. To call this a drumbeat is the wrong way of describing what's at play. This is, in cephology, the winning, winning bandwagon effect. Of course, this will play itself out till May. We are not cephologists. If, if everybody starts to believe that the BJP is coming to power, it is possible that the BJP, Modi, Shah and everybody else could have willed the kind of performance they will end up with. What if the opponents already decide that they have no hope in hell of winning? Therefore, they don't fight in the way that they should. Look at how the India Alliance is disintegrating. Rajdi, for you to blame television news channels is completely irresponsible and, I just and want, unacceptable. I want to tell everyone... The opposition, is not, Rahul, the opposition is not doing its job properly. I opposition believe, doesn't want to fight an election. The, no, no. I believe as a journalist... You were at the same lunch. How enthusiastic were they about believe, their fortunes? Just, how much of their heart I and soul were they putting into the fight? I cannot become cheerleader. Who's cheerleading anybody? We are stating facts for facts. No, not Why by should, see no, why no, should, should, I would show you across I just wanted to say, kind of no, no, that are there. I, it's I, not I, about the headlines. Malik Arjun Kharge but makes I some comment. But I think you have to reality for what it is. I just, no, no, I just want to say to that. India Today, Rajdeep Sardesai stood exposed in the latest episode of Democratic Newsroom when he couldn't hide his frustration over the widespread belief around the country that the BJP will return to power with maybe an even greater mandate in Lok Sabha polls this year. Blaming Newsroom for trumpeting up ki bar, star so par, a political campaign that BJP and supporters have been echoing with donates such as Afran Party and its allies may rake up over 400 seats this time. Rajdeep fumed that they might well change the Democratic Newsroom to single party newsroom for drum beating about a likely victory of BJP in the polls. I am amazed and abused by the drum beat we have. It's almost like you have decided why uh, refer to it as a uh, Democratic Newsroom, why not call it a single party newsroom? But his colleague Rahul Kanwal swiftly rebutted him, exposing the veteran journalist for his prejudice and absurd reasoning to blame the newsroom and drumbeat of Apkibar Charsopar. He said, you had lunch posted by a Congress leader this morning. Every Congress leader I spoke to was discussing the that BJP victory cannot be prevented and their family members were cursing the Congress leadership and are totally non-optimistic about their futures. To call it a drumbeat is the wrong way of describing what is at play. It is, should be called the winning bandwagon effect. Of course, this will play out till May. If everyone starts to believe the BJP is coming back to power, it's possible that BJP, Modi, Shah could have built the kind of performance they will end up. What if the opponents already decided there is no hope in the uh, of winning? Look at the India Alliance as disintegrating Rajdeep for you to blame news channels as completely irresponsible and unacceptable.